Hello guys and welcome to a small fall candle haul from Bath & Body Works. It is so cozy outside today you guys. It is raining and it's cloudy. It's been dreary all day. And I'm just loving the vibes because I have a fall candle haul for you guys. So we had a $12.95 deal over the weekend for candles at Bath & Body Works and they released two new member exclusive candles. So I did pick up both of those as well as three other candles. So let's just get started. So like I said, I did pick up both of the member exclusive candles. So the first one is a oldie but a goodie. This is Pumpkin Donut Shop and it has been out in the past. I definitely have had it, I think two, two years in a row. And I wanna say it was around 2020 when it first came out, maybe 2019. And it was one of my absolute favorites. I think I actually enjoyed it a little bit more in like the springtime as just like a morning scent, but it smells so delicious and it smells exactly like I remember it. So the notes are glazed donuts, warm pumpkin spices, and sprinkled with powdered sugar. I honestly am not a fan of the packaging. Um, it's okay, but I really would have preferred like an icon or like an image of donuts. I feel like that would be so cute. This is a little too like cartoony for me, but that's just my opinion. You guys might like this one. Um, in previous iterations, the packaging has never really been amazing for pumpkin donut shops, so I'm not mad at it, but I think it will probably get a little more attention since it has like some pinky stuff on here from people who aren't really like super fall people. Um, but yeah, this is definitely not a fall scent at all. It's just a donut scent. So definitely could be used year round. To me on cold, there's not really any spices. I can't remember if whenever I burned this, if there was any spiciness that came out whenever it was burning, but I do remember it being pretty strong, like maybe a six or seven on throw, but it smells just like a powdered sugar donut. It smells really good. So I'm excited to have this one back in my collection and I definitely will try to burn it with like a coffee candle next to it. I feel like that would be a super good compliment. So that's pumpkin donut shop. And then I also picked up pumpkin nut butter. I just love that the wax is orange on this one. And I actually enjoy the packaging a little bit better on this one, just because of like the, the copper looking label. I think it's super cute. And I like the little pumpkins on the side. This one, I was thinking maybe it was a repackage of pumpkin peanut brittle, but it definitely isn't. So the notes are pumpkin spice, creamy nut butter, and a sprinkle of cinnamon. Definitely to me on cold has way more pumpkin spice than pumpkin peanut brittle, which I still have one left over from a couple years ago that I've actually been burning the last couple of days downstairs. So I have like experience with it recently. So I can definitely say that this is not pumpkin peanut brittle. It is much more spicy. It kind of gives off like Michael's craft store kind of spice vibes. And I can definitely get a little bit of like nut butter, some sort of like peanutty note to it. So I'm excited to burn this one and see if it's strong or not and what it smells like when burning. But on cold, it definitely is much more pumpkin-y and a little bit of peanut-y. So I'm excited for this one. Next, I picked up one that is new to me and that is Apple Crisp. I was really excited to pick up another apple candle because I actually just finished my champagne apple and honey. And you guys know I love an apple scent for September. It's just like the perfect intro into fall when I'm not quite ready for pumpkin spice. So Apple Crisp, the scent notes are caramelized apple, cinnamon crumble, and sugared oats. I think the wreath packaging on this is just super darling and cute. And I really enjoy that the background is like this wood texture on here too. On cold sniff, it is super red delicious apple. It's kind of reminding me of Harvest Gathering. I think there must be some sort of like clove element to this. I'm not really getting any bakery notes, which I know that's supposed to be the cinnamon crumble and the sugared oats. I'm just getting like apple and spice. So I'm interested to see when burning if that, you know, crumbly oat kind of comes out and makes it smell a little more gourmand but so far it smells really yummy. <laughs> so excited about that one. And the last three wick that I got, I did pick up a single wick, so don't leave just yet, is pumpkin cinnamon bun. And this one is one of my favorites from last year. I think they did the packaging really well this year. I think it's super pretty. I like this like mauve pinky purple tone that they added to it and the little splashes of gold. I think it's super cute. 
So pumpkin cinnamon bun is warm cinnamon roll, pumpkin spice, and vanilla frosting. I remember this one being very strong last year, like an eight or nine. It smells very spicy. And I remember the cream cheese note just being so good. So I'm hoping this one is as good as I remember it because I'm so excited to have it back. So that is pumpkin cinnamon bun. Really, really happy that I was able to pick this one up again this year. And then I did have a reward. So I redeemed it on a single wick candle and I got Wicked Vanilla Woods. I've been using this scent in the body care recently and loving it. Like I'm actually surprised that I like it so much. So I figured I'd pick it up in the single wick and I don't really have a lot of Halloween candles, especially not single wicks. So I figured why not? The notes on this are magical vanilla, glowing amberwood, and enchanted pink pepper. I think this one would be really good for my bedroom at night. I'm not sure I am in love with the blue packaging or the blue wax. I wish it was like purple or just white maybe, but it does smell really yummy. Smells like vanilla, but also smells, I guess masculine would be what I'm looking for, but it's that pink pepper that's really making it like a little bit spicy and a little bit aromatic. So that is Wicked Vanilla Woods. And that's everything for my little candle haul. I just got five candles. Not a ton. Um, that's probably gonna be my last fall candle haul unless they bring out another sort of like exclusive scent. Um, I'm not really planning on picking up any of the Stranger Things scents. I'm pretty good on my fall candle collection and that video will probably be filmed sometime soon because I know you guys love seeing my candle collection. So look out for that video soon and subscribe if you aren't already. But that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!